The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus answered the Jews, My father is at work until now, so I am at work. For this reason they tried all the more to kill him, because he not only broke the Sabbath, but he also called God his own father, making himself equal to God. Jesus answered and said to them, Amen. Amen, I say to you, the son cannot do anything on his own, but only what he sees the father doing. For what he does, the son will do also. For the father loves the son and shows him everything that he himself does. And he will show him greater works than these, so that you may be amazed. For just as the father raises the dead and gives life, so also does the son give life to whomever he wishes. Nor does the father judge anyone, but he has given all judgment to the son, so that all may honor the son just as they honor the father. Whoever does not honor the son does not honor the father who sent him. Amen. Amen, I say to you, whoever hears my word and believes in the one who sent me has eternal life and will not come to condemnation but has passed from death to life. Amen. Amen, I say to you, the hour is coming and is now here when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who hear will live. For just as the Father has life in himself, so also he gave to the Son the possession of life in himself. And he gave him power to exercise judgment, because he is the Son of Man. Do not be amazed at this, because the hour is coming in which all who are in the tombs will hear his voice and will come out, those who have done good deeds to the resurrection of life, but those who have done wicked deeds to the resurrection of condemnation. I cannot do anything on my own. I judge as I hear, and my judgment is just, because I do not seek my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I do not seek my own will, but the will of him who sent me. We live in a culture today that says that freedom means the ability to do whatever I want. I am free to do whatever I want, to whomever I want, whenever I want. And that's freedom in the culture. But Jesus teaches us today that true freedom is rooted in the obedience of faith. It is listening to the voice of God and allowing that voice to change our lives. When my will, my wants, my needs, my hopes, my desires, my dreams are in communion with God's will, God's will and my will are one, now you are free. That's true freedom. Your will and God's will are one. Now you're free to become the person who God created you to be. Now you're free to become the person who God calls you to be. Because now your heart is open to listening to what God has to say. Jesus teaches us that today. He models that listening for us in the Gospels. We cannot listen to the voice of the culture or to the world. We must listen to the Father who makes his voice heard through his Son and through the church, which was founded by Jesus Christ. Why? For just as the Father raises the dead and gives life, 
so also does the Son give life to whomever he wishes. Whoever listens to Jesus and the church has life. If you want to listen to this culture, it's a culture of death. You choose. So how do we hear God's voice? The surest way is in adoration. Silence. That's where we hear. Because when God speaks to you, God speaks to you in your heart. Not here, with these things on the sides of your head. God speaks to you in the heart. That's where we can listen to God's voice. That's where God can make a difference in our lives. We have to be open to listening to him, and we do that in silence, in quiet. So find some time every day, even if you can't go to adoration every day or every week. Find some time for silence to listen to how God is speaking to you. We also hear God's voice, of course, in parents, in teachers and catechists, and of course in priests and in deacons. All those are different ways of hearing God speak to us. Like, my example, I have a spiritual director, and my spiritual director is very direct. You know, he, he tells me not what I want to hear, but what I need to hear. And that stimulates me to be able to go deeper in my faith and my journey with God. So my brothers and sisters in Christ, the Lord is close to all who call him, who call on him from their hearts. Just like an infant in the womb, God will nurture us, protect us, and never, ever forget us. Amen.